Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. I have here in front of me the Halo Infinite Warthog Rally set. I'm pretty excited for this video because there's a lot of stuff to look at here. A lot of new pieces, some new figures. But before we get into the box itself, let's take a look at the art here. I know I keep saying this, but I really don't like the CG art. It looks too clean, too crisp, and I would love to see Mega go to real product photography on here. However, I do actually like this box. This design is very nice. Uh, the way they have things set up is very nice. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Lego's box design. I'm not sure why, but it does. You can see we've got Halo Infinite branding down there. And this set is a two-in-one. That'll be interesting to see. You can see the figures. We got Master Chief, a Marine, and two Jackals. You can kind of see the uh, secondary build on the side. It looks like a boat. In the back, some more shots of just the Warthog in action. You get to see the weapons. The secondary build, which is indeed a boat. The new suspension system, which I'm really interested to check out. And one of the other sets from the Infinite Wave. So let's go ahead and get this open. And it kind of looks like I'm supposed to open it from up here. Oh, that's different. That's... Oh. Ooh, would you look at that? That's actually pretty nice. All right, let's see if we get everything. Indeed we did. Look at those instructions. That's nice. I like that a lot. And we got pictures of all the other Halo Infinite sets on there. Well, minus the customizer packs, but we'll see more of those later, I think. And we have the bags, which are numbered now, which is very nice in the early days of Mega Constructs. They were not numbered, and that was a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this off camera just for the sake of time because we've got a lot to look at in this video and we don't wanna have this be a feature film. Alrighty, there it is, all built up. The Warthog, all the figures. And there's actually this huge pile of extras. Like, I kinda thought I had built something wrong. There's so many of them. And you get these uh, stacks of stands with the brick on it that they call temporary pieces it's placed where the tires would go as you build it and that's temporary pieces is a concept i find very odd since you can kind of just be careful and avoid these altogether but i'm not complaining it gives me some more parts and you have stands for all of the figures here in addition to all of these extras you also get the mega constructs version of the brick separator it's got pretty much anything you would need to remove parts. So let's jump right in and look at the figures. Let's start with the jackals here. And the first thing I wanna say about these guys is they are so ugly. I don't think I have ever seen anything more ugly in my entire life. I mean, look at that. Look at those faces. That is so ugly. But it's perfect because the jackals are just really, really ugly. I, there's no way around it. And these guys are a lot skinnier than the previous super articulated jackals. And unfortunately, I don't have one to compare with. These are the first super articulated jackals I've gotten. And I don't know. I think they look pretty good. You know, these are from Halo Infinite. So... The game could feature a slightly different design uh, as compared to past versions of Jackals. I know I've seen some people complaining how they don't look quite like the Bungie era Jackals, and that's fine. That's, they're not supposed to be. They're from Halo Infinite, and that's 343 in their designs. So 
I think they look pretty good. I can't speak to accuracy because, again, the game's not out yet. But I don't know. They look pretty nice. My only complaint, my only real complaint is the neck joint here. It's kind of really obvious. But it does give you some nice range of movement. So overall, I'd say these guys are really good additions to this set. They're great army builders. You know, having a whole squad of these would not be a problem at all. I also really like the way they marbled the shields. You can see they're not exactly the same. This guy has some dark blue in it. That kind of adds to the energy feel. Got a plasma pistol, other guy does too. And the feet are the new style that were introduced in the super articulated skirmishers, I believe. Next up we have the Master Chief himself, and he is looking really nice in this new armor. Most of the pieces are existing molds, but this combination is just so good. It looks really clean, really crisp. It's just, it's really good. That's, I could just keep saying that over and over again. It looks amazing. This color is very good. Uh, in the original uh, kind of pictures that we saw of this Master Chief that Mega showed off, he was kind of a real light green, and they've kind of darkened it here, and I really appreciate that. And we've got some paint apps, some that are, I would almost expect from the Heroes line. Uh, let me get in closer so you can really appreciate it. So he's got the 117 print on his armor. He's got some black here and black here on both sides. It looks like they missed a little up on this corner, but that's a minor nitpick. And then the visor is applied very nicely. Metallic, but not too metallic. You've got the lights are even printed there. Kind of an outline around the visor a little bit. I like that. The little... I don't know, what are those ventilation tubes on the sides of his helmet? And while we're up this close, let me just give you a quick spin of him again so you can see all of it. He uses a green uh, groin piece to make it look like his armor wraps around the sides too. And that's something that Mega has not done before. It's pretty neat. So. Now let me set him aside and let's talk about this new assault rifle for a minute. It is kind of based, whoops, come back here. It's kind of based on the reach design, but it's smaller now. So I got one of the old ones so you can kind of see. And it's a lot smaller. A lot smaller, a lot sleeker. I imagine this is going to help posing a little better because it's not so bulky and this one this new one has a removable piece here so you have access to that rail system so you can put on scopes and all kinds of cool stuff there this is a very small piece though extremely small and very easy to lose so I would warn you to be very careful with that let me give you a side-by-side -side with the other assault rifle. The, old, the older one is a little bit smaller, but they're fairly comparable in size, and I think they look a lot better than these two side-by-side. -side. This one's just so clunky. And just for kicks, here's the original assault rifle style next to the new one. Again, a lot sleeker. Real quickly, let's get uh, kind of a comparison between a couple other Chiefs. That is the Series 5 Master Chief. You can see they share some of the same pieces, but this new armor is a lot sleeker. I think I definitely prefer the new armor, although this is a great figure. Let's see him next to the Halo 4 and 5 version of the armor. Oh, come on. Stand up. It's a huge difference, and I honestly don't know which one I prefer, because I do have a very 
high like for this version of the armor, but I gotta say, that does look really nice. So, side by side. This version of Chief is more like a tank, whereas this guy is, uh, looks a lot quicker. Now, let's get a quick look uh, of the CE Chief next to the Infinite Chief. This guy's head is so much bigger. Let's throw them all in there real quick. He looks good in that lineup. Now, last but not least, we have the new Halo Infinite Marine. And this guy is, or these guys, are kind of a point of contention with the new Halo Infinite Wave. Uh, reason being is because of the some of the new parts. But first, let's take a look at his weapon. Pop it off. It is just a new style black SMG with the rail on top. No prints whatsoever. Pretty straightforward. It's always good to get more SMGs. Now, let's look at the figure himself. So, his legs are actually Call of Duty legs. They pulled these from the Call of Duty line because they're a little more detailed. They get this nice uh, foot swivel, which that is, that is really cool. Before I get into any of the nitpicks, that is pretty neat. Um, however, the Call of Duty line is slightly taller than the Halo line, which means all of the Marines are now taller, which means Marines are taller than Spartans. That's not how it should be. And I know Mega's scale is already kind of weird, but Marines taller than Spartans? That's just weird. So let's take a look at one of the older Marines. That is a Halo Wars Marine, one of my favorite Halo Marine designs. And you can see that, yeah, he's, this guy here is taller. I don't know what to think about that. Um, the designers at Mega Constructs have said that they went for the taller uh, figure type so that there would be more options for customizing and I appreciate customizing options but Marines taller than Spartans let's see chief let's make sure chief is standing up straight you know it's not too bad actually I mean chief is a tiny bit shorter and really he should be towering over these Marines but it's not as bad as I was expecting. I think I can live with it. Plus, like I said, it does give us more options for customizing, so we've got this removable helmet now. This is a new mold. It looks very nice. It kind of reminds me of the Endor Rebel Trooper helmets a little bit. That gold is printed well. That head is I believe it's the same head that appeared in the uh, CE blind bag wave. Um, so that's, you know, some variation would have been nice, but again, there's a lot of Marines coming in this wave. And so this guy is kind of the most generic out of all of them. Chest plate is new. I believe this little groin armor is new. Shoulder armor is the same as on Chief, and it's been around for a little while. Overall, he looks pretty good, although I am a little confused about why he has pointy elbows. Can somebody explain that to me? Why do Marines have pointy elbows? Alright, so now it's time to look at the star of this whole set, which is the Warthog itself. Now, uh, I do want to say before I start talking about this, is this is only the second Warthog I've built. I only own the uh, Arctic Capture the Flag Warthog, and that was a very good build. I got that set, and I was impressed with it. I was impressed with the way the suspension worked and how it just how it went together. This is extremely different, and I thought that the 
Capture the Flag, Warthog, and the Warthog run Warthog, which shared pretty much the same design, was the best that Mega could do in terms of the Warthogs. And I was wrong. This is something quite different. The build was very easy, very quick. There was a couple steps that were a little confusing, but it was so just fun to build. It was it was really cool to watch it come together the way it did. And you know, this design is a little bit sleeker than past versions, but it still looks rough and ready to, you know, mow down some Covenant. So, real quick, let me stick a guy inside so you can see what that looks like. There we go, the Marine is in there, and the slightly taller scale does not make it difficult to get him in there at all. He sits in there perfectly fine. He looks pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. And obviously you can have a guy man the turret up here. It can swivel back and forth. The turntable catches a little bit, but that's not too bad. Um, let's see, we've got a bunch of gas cans on the back. The hog is ready to go for a long time. Got this whippy antenna. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This has a bit of a print on it. I think it's supposed to be a light. And we've got kind of a cord going down in there, which is very cool. Now, I will get in there and show you a little bit of the interior detail, and there's a print up here that you need to see up closer, but I want to talk about the suspension system first. They completely overhauled it since the last hog, and it's amazing. It's, that's, that's the only word to describe it. It's, it's amazing. Looking at it this way, the hog does have a bit of a gap in between the wheels and the body itself but that's to accommodate this new system, which looks very nice, actually. Like, a lot of times on toys, suspension systems look cruddy, but they did a good job of making it look the part. Now, let's see it. Look at that. That's so cool. Just, you can go over pretty much anything. You know, let's... Let's get some pieces in there. Come on. That's so cool. That is that is just that's just so cool. I don't know what else to say. That's they did such a good job here. You can see it under there. They have these big blocks and there's some pegs going through and you attach all these clips and the clips are what hinge it. And then we've got a rubber band in there to give it the tautness. Well done, Mega. Well done. All right, so let's take a look at the inside. And we've got a printed control panel that we have seen before. I believe it came in most of the other Warthogs that have come out in recent years. We have a little lever here. I really like the way they did that. It looks like it could hinge. We've got the steering wheel. There's that light I was talking about and it's got the power cord going to this little thing up there. That's pretty neat, I like that. And then we have, come on, focus now, a UNSC logo printed on the gun. And that is very well executed. No paint bleed, nothing. It's as crisp as it shows on the box art. So as we saw on the box, there is a second build um, but for the sake of time, I'm going to do that in a separate video and we'll take a full look at that. So for now, what's the final verdict on this set just out of the box, you know, Warthog and the figures? The retail price for this is $30. Is that a fair price? I'd say it is because let, let's talk about Lego for a second. Lego if you were to buy a $30 set, most likely you would only get three minifigures. That's usually how it goes. So you get an, another figure in here, two jackals, extremely massable, a marine, extremely massable, master chief, you really only need one master chief. But 
you know, buying multiples of this set for more jackals and marines would not be bad. At $30, army building is a little bit difficult, but I'd say it's a fair price. Especially since they went completely out of their way to design a new suspension system that works so incredibly well. And, you know, they've got the new Marines with the removable helmet, new pieces, Master Chief. Looks almost like he could be a hero's figure with those prints. And the new Jackals, as ugly as they are, they're useful to have. So I definitely recommend this set. Um, if you're just looking to army build, I would point you towards the Mongoose set from the same wave. Since that's only $15 and you get more Marines. But if you want Chief... I'd say definitely get this set. If you want another Warthog, definitely get this set. I know for people that have been collecting Mega Constructs for uh, many years, I'm sure you you guys have more than one Warthog. Me, this is only my second. And this one's a little bit more versatile than a uh, Capture the Flag Arctic Warthog. So I'm really happy with this. I really like the way it looks. It looks really rugged. The figures are good. My main nitpick is the Marine's height, which is not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting it to be much more dramatic, but it's not too bad. See, I use these guys for photos, so having a Marine that's taller than Chief is problematic for photos, but it's very, very slight, so I can work with it. I don't like it very much, but I can work with it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.